So some time ago, popular Yugi tuber Simo started something called Master Duel Masochist, a challenge series in which a brand new account builds a deck out of five master packs, and with every win, you gain a new one as well as any bonus legacy packs to improve it. So we watched it and thought, this looks fun, let's give it a shot. What is up everybody, Toaster Corgi Gaming back here in Master Duel Masochist. Now, what episode is this? I have no freaking clue. We'll probably figure that out in editing. But we do have a idea in which trying a new deck. We may even call this Season 2 for all we care. And for that, we are going to be trying a new deck that we have worked on a little bit. Which is this deck focusing on a boss monster being Behemoth, King of 100 Battles, who is only usable... We, we can easily summon with one tribute, but he is unaffected by special summon monster effects if he's normal summoned. And if he only needs one tribute, he's actually going to be pretty good. And we'll probably be focusing on using a Beast, Wing Beast, and Beast Warrior setup while running our common staples, such as our Void Trap Hole, Blazing Mirror Force, Floodgate, Last Help by Destiny. But this does offer us more insight. Now, this is an early testing of the deck. We'll also have our Void Expansion Field spell in case that way during our standby phase we can instantly get a monster on the field to tribute someone out Behemoth. We also have Spiritual Forest to protect him from being destroyed by battle. Basically, if he's normal summoned, the only thing we have to worry about is Kaijus, battle destruction, card effect destruction, and that's it. Like spell and back row, spell and trap destruction, which if we had the card. The goal is to hopefully one day get this Melfi Hide and Seek, which the first time each beast would be destroyed by card effect, it's not. And with Behemoth being a beast, that would actually be very well for us. Now it is a it's a normal, so we got a very we got a lot higher of a chance to pull the card. Now, we also have Melfi Caddy here, which if a monster is summoned or attack, if our opponent attacks or summons it, a monster while Caddy's on the field, we can easily bounce it back to hand and get Behemoth in hand on the next immediately. So we've got that to search. We've got other stall. We've also got a tiny bit of a fur hire engine in here. We've got Planet Pathfinder to search our field spell. We have Obedience Schooled for turn one. We're also trying to focus more on keeping the deck down to 40 as close as possible for consistency. We've also got our Drummerilla and our Monkey Board, so we could also rely on and get the Turtle for some uh, Pendulum Summoning, which we could summon basically all of them. Almost all of our monsters, except uh, Dinah here. We also managed to pull our a Kashira Ogre, because we grinded off-camera before coming here. Starting this, we grinded off-camera for that bundle. Halloween bundle. Which was not easy to get. Oh my god, not easy at all. We're also going to put in our DD Assailant. Our deck is still probably focused on going second. But... Let's, let's see how we fare. Now, this is also after the major update, which I don't really know what they changed. They added some feature that we there we can select 50 cards that we cannot dismantle. Which I'll admit is very good for masochists, because we don't want to delete good cards that we tried so hard to get. So us getting them is a very big deal. Alright, first game of the new season. We got Seal for offense. We'll probably go with our Fencing Fire Ferret first. Now, unfortunately, since we've been running the Reptile deck for so long, we don't really have a draw, quote-unquote, draw engine. But we do have Catnipped Kitty in case we have another beast. If we can pull a second one, then we can create an attack lock. Now, we do also have a machine deck that we're working on, which will probably be focused around Mecha Phantom Beast token spamming, but I haven't really worked on that one. I just thought, you know what? It's a new month. Let's try some new decks. 
Let's Fiendish Chain this. And if they destroy our fencing fire ferret, then we can destroy a we can target and destroy a face-up monster they control and deal 500, which is not bad. Now they're gonna overlay. Now see, they probably would have used Herald to special summon out to get rid of their uh, Herald of Arc Light, which would give them a free draw, I think. I'm a little rusty as to what Sprite does. I haven't played against them in a while. I would love if every account got reset every month. That would be very good for us masochist players. And it would also keep our YouTube series going. B. Maru. Well, that's not good. I would love this card to get banned just because of how versatile and splashable it is, but that's probably never going to happen. Now, we have been keeping track of our score, but, unfortunately, that doesn't mean that we have, uh, been keeping track of what episode we're on. Because we've also been doing this as live streams, so... Anybody's guess is as good as mine! You want Sprite Cranberry? No, I'd like you to Sprite die. Alright, that's somewhat useful. Alright, so during the main phase, target a level 2 or lower monster in Grave and special summon it. That's a Beast Warrior. Are they going to bring back a Sprite? Probably Blue. Nope, they're going to bring back a uh, Little Knight. That's a little bit of a problem. They can just banish Seal. But we're going to banish their entire hand. Which is annoying that Ash Blossom stops this card, but it is what it is. Magics. Any time now. A bot. Nope. Oh. Got rid of a Maxi. Herald of Greenlight, Agent of Mystery, and Creation Venus. Yeah, and that's the game. Yeah, that's the downside. Uh, you don't know what they're going to draw. Alright, round two. Let's go. Okay, we've got some good cards. Goose is a fiend, and we can't even use it because level two. We're locked into beast type monsters. Now, if we had Naturia Beast, this would be a godsend. So they don't have Ash Blossom. Put you in the pendulum scale. Activate a level 4 lower performer, pal. Okay. 
Okay, so apparently we can't use, uh... Cannot special summon monsters except... But their effects negated. It's kind of, a uh, tough luck. There aren't that many good extra deck beast monsters that we have in our disposal. Oh, we should have bounced it. Whoops. We should have bounced. Alright, we misplayed there. Alright, and we'll see what we can do. We really should have bounced Caddy back to the hand. So, now we know, for the future. Bit of a misplay, but we're learning as we go. We could have gotten our Beast King. Or Behemoth. I keep calling him Beast King even though he's called Behemoth, which he's a retrain and a pretty darn good one. I mean, I tried, uh... I just recently tried Iron Brew, and honestly, not that... not as good as I thought it would be. The bubblegum flavor is kind of strange. I mean, we got Fanta, Sunkissed, Crush over here in America. It feels like I'm not saying that Europeans can't make good soda. I'm just saying y'all's tastes are kind of strange. But ours are too, because we deep fry everything down here. We don't really have any Melfi monsters, but I'm pretty sure we just lose because it's Tenpai. And Tenpai is very broken. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to win against this. Alright, Season 2, Game 3. Now, we did change a little bit. We decided to put in the Millis Mrs. Radiant. Oh, we're going against Rough here. Things are going to get rough. But we got our Melfi Caddy in hand to start. Ooh, Labyrinth, haven't seen you in a minute. I was kind of glad about it. That'll summon any monster from hand, deck, or grave. A Jinzo would be beautiful. Hmm, Beast Warriors. Play defensively to start. Big welcome labyrinth. Big bitch. Can't be targeted or card effect. Or destroyed by card effects. While you control a set card. Special summon it. If a labyrinth card effect was activated. The only way you can beat them is Jinzo. That's the only way you can win. It's still my end phase, and they've got Unchained as well, which very annoying that they're knocked in they're not locked into Labyrinth monsters. Another big welcome labyrinth, which will just add the other card. Now the key of a boss of a Melpy deck is usually the spamming of Kalantosa, the Mystical Beast of the Forest, which we don't have. 
or Melfi Puppy, which Puppy is a rare, but Kalantos is a super rare. Or an SR. And we would also need Naturia Beast, who is unfortunately UR. Now if I could trade three URs for a UR of my own, of my choice, I would. Because we've got two copies of Power Tool, two copies of DD Flame King Genghis, and a Zephrath that I'm not looking forward to. Ever. Now their Lady Labyrinth will be will be safe. We may have to run Smoke Mosquito back in with Tempai running around, unless they stop all monster effects, which feels... You would need Dragon Capture Jar or Buster Lock to beat Tempai. Yeah, this may be a lost fight. There's the other. Yeah, that's game. Better and four, ready for more? Please don't put me against a meta whore. Okay, no Ash Blossom, that's good. That's about all we can do. Now, unfortunately, Void Expansion only activates during our standby phase. Since they didn't activate Ash Blossom... Oh, now do they have one? Nope. It's a Blue Eyes player. We got their... Well, we got their Harpy's Feather Duster, a Crackdown, Impenetrable Attack, a Magic Cylinder. That's actually not bad, but we didn't get their Blue Eyes Jet or their Blue Eyes, so not the best, but not the worst. They probably would have set Kisara, or Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Yeah, I think we may have just screwed the Pooch, and that's the problem. If you can't see what's in your opponent's hand, then it's a gamble. It's a strong effect, but a gamble. Also... I'm gonna say it's people saying, oh, these modifications to the game are great. No, they're not, because we still can't see the enemy player's turn timer. Still can't see it. This ma this patch update is a failure. We've been asking for how fucking long? Dark Sealed Hex Fusion. I think they're playing the Blue Eyes starter deck, because I think that's in the starter deck. Possibly. Like, the Impenetrable Attack, Crackdown, and Magic Cylinder are very weird, because Blue Eyes is all offense, no defense. That's annoying. Now we can't target their back row cards. And they can't be destroyed by card effects. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a monster that can out that. And... Well, we can still take out Dictator of D. Well, that works. Do we have any monsters that can out this? We need two beasts, beast warrior, or wing beast. Two monsters with different names. 
needs two earth monsters, which we don't have. Now see, this is the problem with her hires. A, we don't have enough, and B, they gotta be special summoned. We can't overlay with tokens due to some bullshit that they don't technically exist, but... Now, if we could have summoned Performer Pal Drummerilla and Catnip Kitty, that wouldn't be bad. And you'll never see fur hire players use Sagita, ever. <laughs> but you'll never see them use her, which is a bit of a shame. Because they never use her, they never use the continuous trap card, they never use the field spell, even though the field spell is pretty bad. Well, we got rid of their Magician. It's gonna actually cushion the blow. Come on, heart of the cards, heart of the cards. Can we get the Behemoth? That is not. I think it's best we save our little cat. I've lost many games with our old reptile deck of not having a card in hand for Divine Wrath. Those are probably the Maiden of Eyes of, with Eyes of Blue. Shout out to whoever we had in a previous video say to put Drummerilla in the deck, because it's actually very good so far. Well, that's a problem. Now we can't use Obedience Schooled. Didn't think of- totally forgot about that. Now it says we can summon. Got a Ritual Spell from deck to hand. We're going to say no to that. Because that's not a good thing to have against us. If we can just draw Behemoth, we're fine. That's all we gotta do. Now, there is also the possibility, if we can summon our, Mel our Joyous Melfies, we can bounce the Kaiju back to hand. Well, there's Penny. No, we're not going to do that because the token is level 1. We're not going to activate it. Instead, go for Obedience Schooled. Push summon out all three. Now, their effects are negated. So we can't use the effect of Sea Koala to drop our Kaiju's attack to zero. 
1400, that would put you at 24, that at 20, 19, All wind monsters. Well, at least we had a backup plan. Utopic Aura. Now they're just going to banish our Mrs. Rate, use its effect to bring it back, banish Mrs. Radiant and our card. Or not. Effects negated. Sorry, Melfies. Now, if we put in Burden of the Mighty, which we may try... We put in Burden of the Mighty, because we ran that as a strategy in the past, Of because when we had uh, the two strongest Kaijus, we only have Radiant because it's the weakest one we have. Pushing the blow... Yeah, quick play. Drummerill is actually coming in clutch as a cushioner. Target okay, an Earth Monster in Grave, add it to hand. We'll take Caddy just to play on the safe side. All we gotta do is beat our Kaiju. Which means we need to have Heart of the Cards and pull our Behemoth. That's not a Behemoth. That's a bird. That is a tiny Burb. Since they don't have quick play spells in hand, because they would have activated them, and they're trying to get us to attack those. Those are either the Ancient Stones of Legend or Maidens with Eyes of Blue. That way they can summon the monsters out for free. And unfortunately, that's not something we want to attack. We've got enough blue eyes to know what they do. So the Draco Aura, the BLS, and the Dark Magician, Dragon Knight, we did not expect those. Our internet is wanting to be an asshole. We just got it upgraded today, so... And it's still... I think it's somehow worse. Yeah, 
Yeah, we got that Google Fiber stuff, and I'm like, this is terrible. It should be fixed. Like, it just randomly disconnects me for God knows why. Like, bit of a rip-off, that stuff. Come on! We have a chance! Now you give me the error message? Ugh. Well, isn't that just great? We'll give it one more try, and if it's still... See, that feels like we got cheated. We got cheated out of that. Two very boring minutes later. We've still got Barry. And that's checkmate. This is rough. We may have to switch back to our original deck in the meantime.